Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bahrain Now. With me, your host, Bara Abdallah. We've got a great show coming up featuring great local talents, initiatives, and events from around the kingdom. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the third edition of the West Asian Para Games Bahrain 2022 closed last week. The organization of the competition reflected Bahrain's standing as a destination for major sporting events and the capability in hosting competitions. And for more on that, we have here with us the Executive Director of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, Sheikh Ahmed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Good evening. How Good are evening. you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I am really excited and really proud as a Bahrain to hear what happened with the event. Tell us more about the event, sir. Uh, the events, uh, they went quite smoothly. Uh, the whole um, Bahrain team uh, worked really well together, mm. the Paralympic Committee and the uh, Bahrain Sports uh, Federation for Disabilities. Mm. Uh, of course, everyone involved was very helpful. Mm. Uh, they made it a very smooth experience, yes. uh, especially during these uh, uh, challenging times right. uh, with COVID and all. Um, it's, it's, it went really well. Mm. Uh, to see the results after the uh, athletes have, have really worked really hard in training, uh, it's, it's a very good thing to see. Definitely, definitely. Seeing the events and how it took place just brought pride to every Bahraini. So we really sincerely thank you for all the amazing efforts, yourself, Sheikh, and the team all together. So tell us about the competition, what happened over there, how was it fierce, was it competitive? Tell us about the evaluation. It was quite competitive. Uh, mm. It was, uh, it's, in comparison, it's smaller than the uh, Asian competition that happened uh, mm. a month ago, uh, two months ago, sorry. Mm. Um, because uh, that the Asian competition, although it was for the youth uh, mm. athletes, it had more countries participating. Right. So it was more challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas this one was uh, relatively smaller, okay. uh, but it was, it had the, uh, it had youth, it had experienced athletes. Um, so it was also in its way challenging, mm. but also uh, unique uh, compared to that one. Um, and also the fact that it was held and uh, hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain mm. made it uh, made it a very very nice experience, and right. uh, we are glad to have uh, achieved what we have. Uh, the athletes and coaches really deserve a lot of plaudits for that. All right, definitely a big shout out to every member and yourself, sir, for you. pulling together an amazing event that vibed and pretty much went viral around the world, putting Bahrain on the map with such significant events. Tell us about the athletes themselves. How advanced are they? Because they seemed very good in what they're doing. Uh, yes, uh, the athletes, um, the fact that they were so advanced uh, mm -hmm. made it easier for preparations. Right. Um, on top of that, you put the coaches and their understanding of the game and, and the field that they're in, uh, their knowledge of it, uh, not only of sports, uh, but of para sports, mm. which, can, which can be quite a change. Uh, the coaches really, really uh, played a big part in all this understanding. Like I said, not just the the sport aspect, but also the para right. para aspect of it. Um, and they've created quite a quite a uh, relationship between them and the and the athletes Amazing. and the administration. Um, we all really work together uh, quite well. Um, uh, all for the good of the uh, athletes and the Kingdom of Bahrain, right. really. Right, and they're receiving the great amount of support by the society and the authorities and the federation, all of them making it like a one big family, representing the power sports here in Bahrain. So again, we're so proud to see that. I mean, we came a long way 
Yes. And today yes. it's just, it's, it's shining like a beautiful diamond when it comes to your efforts and what's been going on in the Paralympics. So we saw the billboards, we saw all that's going on. I'm like, it's happening. Super exciting. So what's the future like? Um, hopefully it's only uh, to greater things from this. Uh, this, uh, the, the West Asian Para Games uh, is one of the largest sporting events the, hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, this is just a crucial, another crucial mm. step um, towards developing, uh, and towards the development and uh, towards achieving our goals. Uh, in the sporting aspect, of course, mm -hmm. our sporting goals um, and the objective set by the uh, leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain mm -hmm. as well as uh, the sporting uh, leadership. Uh, hopefully, uh, this is just uh, another step Fine. towards bigger and greater things. And we are so looking forward to that, definitely. Any last words, sir? you would like to give to our viewers? Uh, yes, um, I would like to congratulate uh, the leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain, um, his, uh, his Majesty the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as His uh, Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, uh, Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, um, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their uh, infinite uh, support mm. in, in not just uh, sporting in the Kingdom of Bahrain, but para, uh, Paralympic athletes. Um, uh, they've really uh, been, a, been quite a motivation for the athletes and the athletes uh, really don't shy away from showing that because it's, it's a fact. And uh, I'd like to congratulate and thank um, His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Daej Al Khalifa, the chairman of the Paralympic Committee as well as uh, His Excellency Sheikh Sultan bin Daej Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, um, for, for uh, always having uh, the backs of the uh, mm. athletes and always uh, giving their full support right. and for giving me this, uh, this opportunity, honestly, to, mm. to work with such a fantastic group, um, as well as uh, the Bahrain uh, Paralympic Committee and the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities as a whole, uh, they've really uh, worked, worked really hard and with full mm. dedication throughout this uh, period. And last but not least, mm. uh, most of all, I'd like to thank and congratulate the coaches and the para-athletes uh, for these great results uh, and for their uh, hard work. They've really made the Kingdom of Bahrain proud. We've, we're, we can't thank them enough for their yes. achievements and yes. uh, alhamdulillah it's gone really well amazing alhamdulillah of course our sincerest gratitude is revealed to you sheikh and to every member in bahrain making this happen we couldn't be even ever for a debt forever with the pride and how proud we are as bahrains to see this happening on our beloved kingdom well it's been a great honor sir having you with us here on bahrain now the honor is mine and we can't wait to look forward to amazing events coming up in the future. Inshallah. Most definitely. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's happening and it's getting bigger and bigger with the Paralympics right here in Bahrain. And we can wait to see what the future is like. All that took place right here in Bahrain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, you know, when it comes to families and starting a family and maintaining a well-balanced life can be a bit and sometimes too challenging, especially with the newborn and little children. To speak more about the tips and advice for mothers and fathers in such situations, we are joined here today in the studio by a motherhood specialist and lactation counselor, Miss Maryam Al Mahdi. Good evening, how are you? Good evening to you, I'm fine, what about you? I am really excited to hear more about this and your passion into helping families who have newborn children. Tell us more about that. Well, uh, since my childhood, I was really inspired 
Well, anything that's related to mother and child. Mm. Uh, if I see mother is pregnant or breastfeeding, I was really inspired, but with no critical thinking. Mm. I was not thinking critically at that time. But uh, when I joined my midwifery program, that was on 1999, uh, I discovered that it's my passion. Okay. Yeah, it's my sea actually, just like a fish in the sea. Right. And um, I confirm it actually when I joined a labor room as a midwife. Yeah, I see, wow. uh, I was seeing how mothers were challenging or facing challenges in uh, delivery, pregnancy, and mm. uh, breastfeeding. So I decided to help them aside to my job. Really? Wow. Yes. It was just more like a spark, a feeling? Or something in you just made you just that said it's time to do it as a full-time thing. Yeah, actually, I did this after the, my retirement. After my retirement, I made it as a business, and wow. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy to do it. Uh, I am glad you did Thank because you. we definitely need you in this market. You know, there's a lot going on, and I'm sure your experience can mm -hmm. add a lot and change people's lives. Now. A lot of amazing women here in Bahrain as they are working and they take care of the children but the moment they give birth to a child a newborn everything changes right it's not perm it's not temporary it's just a permanent change forever so if you're gonna give us one or two advices to women who just gave birth and they're about to see a whole new world what would you say actually before that I have to tell you that I have to see through the mother's window, mm. through her personality. Uh, she and her partner as a couple, if they are ready to the parenthood or not. Um, and then I can give them a general advice or a very basic advice, the treasures actually, is right. to prepare themselves for th to be a parent by taking uh, workshops, uh, mm. courses, and by um, convincing their m mentality that, that I'm going to be a new mother and father, so I have to accept this. It's a, it's a transition. It's a quality a transition, actually. Um, after taking those courses and uh, preparation programs, mother will be okay. Uh, Let me say that 60 to 70 percent ready to have the new experience. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and uh, we will teach her how to behave uh, during the pregnancy. Every phase uh, in pregnancy has to uh, to deal with in a special way. Mm. There, there are special foods, special uh, behaviors, special exercises mm. during um, the pregnancy. Then, if she entered the labor room, also she we will teach her how to deliver safe Amazing. and smooth and without any loss, any with loss. less pain. Right. Yeah, and uh, coming to breastfeeding, which is my passion. Wow, <laughs> wow. We have to support her during breastfeeding and then postnatal period, which is at home. We have to mm. teach them both how to take care of themselves during postnatal by, um, for example, maintaining good mental health, psychological right. and physical health. Very important. Yeah. Very important. I mean. My question to you, where were you 10 years ago when <laughs> I needed you? <laughs> I needed that workshop. Uh, I'm there since 1999. <laughs> uh, maybe I did, did not come across your name, unfortunately. Yes. I have problems changing diapers. <laughs> <laughs> and my, uh, my son, when he was like a few months, he always gave me that look. It's like, take care of it. <laughs> and I was so bad. I needed you that time. But you, know? you did. Barely. <laughs> He, the mother had to come and just redo everything. <laughs> he was like, that was so bad. Let me redo it again. <laughs> Thanks. I love that. I love that. So now you mentioned press, uh, breastfeeding and it's just like one of the things you're so passionate about. And there are like lectures and books on how important and significant breastfeeding is. But from your perspective, what can you tell us? Basically, I can tell that human milk is uh, actually a treasure. It's a, a, a life uh, substance mm. which suits baby's age and health status. It changes according to the baby's need. Mm. It's being tailored according to the baby's needs. So this is the miracle. Okay. But it has uh, also so many positive things regarding uh, actually for the mother as well as the, for the baby. If we come to the baby, it um, helps to build the immunity system. Right. 
brain and retina. It helps to build a, a mature lung, wow. a good gut, um, and it's easily digestible. Mm. Uh, um, moreover, breast milk also, or human breast milk, is very good for psychological and mental status. It does uh, a miracle things, uh, and awesome things. For example, let me just tell you, baby Please. could be a decision maker. A decision by, maker? Yeah, <laughs> by breastfeeding. He can control the flow of milk. Yeah, let me tell you, if the flow of milk is less, we will see the babies hitting the breast, beating yeah. the breast, yeah. Because he's asking for more. Especially if he's being fed with naked hand, with no gloves. Yeah, on oh. the other hand, if baby's uh, breast milk flow is more for him, yeah. and he wants to stop it, he, we will see him push the breast to okay. stop the flow. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. And uh, regarding mothers, actually, studies shows that breastfeeding has a uh, great effect of mm. lessen the postpartum depression, mm. uh, ovarian cancer and breast, breast cancer, and obesity as well. And it maintains also um, her health in general. She can burn, like, um, let me say, 80 calories per 100 ml of milk. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's, it's a workout. It's, yeah, it's, yes. Wow, wow. You see, listening to all of that, it just brings so much joy to understand that all of that is just natural. It's there. It's ours. It's free. It's just like, like you said, it's yeah. like, it's just there. Like it, it's a creation. It's warm. Yes. It's just there. It's built for you. So thank you so much for that information. It's really an eye opener. Now to another thing. <coughs> the baby's here, right? And now as a father or a mother, right? Life changed a lot now as, as we're heading to even another change possibly. They go, they work, and all of a sudden there are more responsibilities. Now you have to go tackle work life, then you have to go through life life, you know, and you have the kids and the wife and the husband, and all of a sudden things are like all over the place, overwhelming, time consuming, energy and all of that. But at the same time, there is love, there is everything, but the balance becomes even harder to have. So what can you tell us about that? Coming back to preparation. Right. Yes, they both of them has to prepare uh, have to prepare themselves by taking courses of time management. They have to be a very good manager of time. Mm. They have to set up plans, planning the time, set up their priorities, and uh, taking the most important task, then the important, and at last the least important task, in order to uh, run the life so smooth mm. and. Uh, um, it's okay. Uh, everybody can do it. Uh, most of people can do it right. by uh, by arranging their their mind by uh, m doing the time management. It's not that much impossible mission. Okay. Wow. Mm. Wow. Simply said, but that alone is an like an entire episode oh. <laughs> of like what can we do and the steps and everything. It's very interesting to see that now there is more awareness into workshops and lectures and courses for people before getting married even. Yes. And then getting into the marriage life. And then from marriage, it goes to the newborn baby and putting a family. That is very important to have. As a lot of them, and what they would do is just maybe replicate what they had in their in their own lives that they were kids so they can replicate their own mom and their own dad but that what was working to their times as right now we live in more contemporary times and we have more contemporary approaches like the one you're seeing so how was the reception with all of this now you've been doing workshops courses you've been helping a lot of people so how was the reception uh, still we need to do more in Bahrain okay uh, still we are in the very beginning steps all right yeah not Amazing. everybody in Bahrain believes in this Hmm. Yeah. Really? They, uh, yeah, they believe that it comes automatically, which is, in fact, it's not. We have to prepare we ourselves. We have to prepare, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was even interesting that certain, like I would say, <coughs> the government and the ministries, they are introducing programs as much as they can. Mm -hmm. And there were talks about, you know, it has to be a part before you get married. You, you need to go see a counselor from the family divisions and just see how it works. But as you said, we need more awareness at yes. this point, right? Yeah. Yes, of course. Mm. Uh, I hope, inshallah, uh, in the future, people will be really aware 
of, uh, of this uh, great services. And mm. uh, moreover, I advise uh, people who's in, um, in the medical fields right. to study my profession. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Your profession at this point is a lactation counselor and a motherhood specialized uh, person who gives specialized counseling. I, I love that. What's your future plans? You want to add more to your services or are you going to focus on this for the time being? Yes, actually my future plans is to add more, more uh, services and to um, continue. Amazing. Please do. Thank we you. need you. Definitely. <laughs> thank you. Well, Maryam, thank you so, so much for being with us here on Bahrain Now. Any last words for your viewers? Uh, my last words is to advise and uh, people to be aware. Okay. This is my, own, my only advice, which I always do, which I always tell in any mm. uh, gathering, in mm. any interview, is right. to be more aware and to take um, care of, the, of themselves. Right. Yeah. Thank you again so much for being with us here on Bahrain Now. It's been such a pleasure. You definitely. are most welcome. My pleasure is for me. Most definitely. Thank you. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, prepare, prepare, and just go for workshops and courses. Th that could definitely be a life changing for newborns and families. All that took place in an interview right here with Miss Maryam Al Mahdi. Well, everyone, this brings us to the end of today's episode. Don't forget to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in another episode of Bahrain Now. I'm Bara Abdullah. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless. <laughs>